Hey y'all, welcome. I'm here at K1 Speed, brand new in Radiant, Idaho. Super stoked to be here. This is something that we've been waiting for a long time to come into the valley. We've had fast lanes for a while. It's just nothing too great. Gas indoors and just, you know, the carts are luggish. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too spectacular. Um, but now that we've got K1 Speed, looking forward to a lot of league races, glow in the dark races, drift cart races, try and hold a lot of the records here, I guess, as it's gonna be quite the popular thing, but thought I'd go inside, show you guys a tour. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be posting up the video, one year ownership on the 22WRX. So look forward to that. If you guys have been wanting to know what it's like to own, if it's quick, if it's not quick, uh, what you can do to make it quicker. We do a lot of that type of stuff. I work for Burger Motorsports, and so we R&D and develop a lot of new aftermarket parts, tuning parts for various platforms and whatnot. So yeah, let's get inside here and go check it out. All right, I mean, how cool is this? This is something that we've never had here in Boise, Idaho, so it's so awesome to see something like this. We got standing, a leaderboard up there that you can watch along the back wall, back turn. Super cool to see where we're at placement-wise, as well as these neon lights along the entire track here. Not many of these K1 tracks either have this double-decker, second-level track to it, which is super neat, super cool to have here in our small town. Wow, that was absolutely insane. I cannot believe that this track can let just anyone come out here and come do that. This seems like someone's going to get badly injured and it's going to happen very soon. Because these carts, you're coming down in this back wall, I don't know if you'll be able to tell off the camera right here. It really comes down in there hot. And you got to be on your game to be able to stay around that corner. My arms are tired and I'm used to this type of stuff. So that was quite the experience. I'm hoping the GoPro footage came out how I'm hoping it did. But, uh, if not, I'm going to check that here over in a second, and then on this second lap that we're going to be doing, I'm going to probably switch over to the head mount if I find it necessary, because, man, that was a workout, and I did not have time to be checking that type of stuff during that race, because that was absolutely insane. So, yeah, super fun time, though. There you go. Good? Here we go, here we go, we're hot. Real hot, real quick. Hey, just gonna interrupt the video real quick. I'm gonna ask you guys to please make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Share to any of your friends that you guys may have, and make sure to hit the notification bell to get notified of all upcoming and future videos as soon as they're dropped. Thank you guys so much, and let's get back to the video. All right, so unfortunately, I was a whole four 100 slower that pass. Didn't feel as good. I kept slipping up into that back wall 
and uh, couldn't keep it under control. You got a lot of weight transfer that's coming straight off the front into the straight 90 when you're trying to prepare yourself to hit this apex on that far corner. I'll go inside over here, see if I can't get a bit of a better angle. Definitely pretty tricky to say the least to be able to try and come all the way off of this ramp that's right up here and then down it into this back corner to set yourself up for the, this apex that's just right here where my blurred finger was right there. I slammed in that wall a few times and unfortunately couldn't get myself over to a very quick pass because of it and uh, allowed my friends to uh, run some faster times than I actually did right there. I'd run in a 24.989 and previously I ran a 24.489. So, so we've got one, run, one race left to see if we can do a bit better right there. Well, the track is breaking down right now and then usually a week and a half to two weeks, that's when it's prime. The cars are broken in, everything's working good, the tires are broken in, the yeah, track looks good. Got the slick yeah. tires right now. Yeah, it, it, it grips, some sections up there grip pretty good, and then there's other sections you hit it just right. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's three days later now. I've gone to K1 speed three different times. That first day, the track was just super slick, and I was like, man, this is super dangerous because it was so slick. Over the past couple days, it has tightened up, and the track is a lot grippier now, so I could throw down quite a few faster times and everything. That first day, I didn't make it on a leaderboard. Second day, I took top three. Um, and then th this yesterday was Sunday, and I was able to finish out in third place. The track was nice and sticky, so if you wait until the end, I'm gonna go ahead and post that GoPro video of me running the third fastest time. It was a 24.088 or so. I'm getting beat by one of the co-owners co of K1 Speed right now, as well as the owner's son. But got the sheet right here, so I've just gotta keep working on these times, and I look forward to posting more on league races and stuff once a month on the first Sundays of the month is when those league races are gonna be for the adult GP. I plan on trying to push those really hard. I would really like to try and make it out to the K1 Speed Nationals and go see what that's like and experience that. So definitely gotta work hard this year to be able to place good, do well in these races to make it over to the Nationals. All right, so unfortunately I wasn't able to grab any sort of spectacular time tonight, but it's whatever, get used to the track and coming back tomorrow with another fun group. So we're gonna, off, we're gonna head off to a car meet here. Got a nice little lineup right here. My buddy Nathan's OG M2. Let's hear the cold start on it. Whoa, look at the tail lights. Like the license plate, not guilty. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, there it is. That's nice. Got the DB WRX, like I said. There's going to be a review on it tomorrow going up. One year of ownership with it, so should be a good little review. It's been a great car, to be honest. But yeah, it's pretty much going to wrap up today's video at the all-new K1 Speed here in Meridian, Idaho.